What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview, and we continue the ATP season on the grass with an ATP 500 event at the Queen's Club Championships. It's a big event on the calendar for the grass court season, and some big names have won this in the past. But let's go have a look at some of the names that are pulled out of this year's event. Only a couple of names out of this one. So Fakina, he's out. Raonic, Schwartzman, and Vavrinka is also out of this event. All right, starting at the top of the draw, we have eight seeds in this one, and no one gets a buy in the first round. Number one seed, Berrettini. Had a really good French Open, got to the quarterfinals, so I'll be interested to see how he does this week. He plays Travaglia in the first round. Winner of that plays either Benoit Paire or Andy Murray, the wild card. So that is a first round we've got to watch is Benoit Pair versus Murray. Then we've got another British wildcard, Brody, taking on Manorino. Winner of that match takes on either Poprin or the number six seed, Evans, in the second round. Then we've got the number four seed, Diminor, taking on Jera. Winner of that match takes on either Opelka or Milman in the second round. Then we have a former champion, Chilich. He takes on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Lou or the number eight seed, Fanini. The players I'm watching out for, obviously Berrettini. He's an all-court player. He's actually won grass court tournaments in the past. So keep an eye on him. He's not just a hard court clay court player. Also interested to see how Chilich does as a former champion here and his game suited to the grass, former Wimbledon finalist as well. And of course, we got to watch out for Andy Murray. The wild card in this one. He's got a tough first couple of rounds though. He has to beat Pear and then potentially Berrettini in the second round. But if he can get through those guys, very interested to see how far he can go. He's also won this tournament a bunch of times before. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number five seed, Karatsev. He takes on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Nori or Ramos Vinoles in the second round. Then we have Bublek versus Shardy. Winner of that match takes on the wildcard Draper or the number three seed Sinner in the second round. Then we have the number seven seed Sonigo. He takes on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Bedene or Tiafo in the second round. Then we got the defending champion, Feliciano Lopez. He takes on Krajanovic in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either another qualifier or the number two seed Shapovalov. So a few new names in the bottom half of the draw. We've got some of the younger generation down the bottom. Some of the players that have broken out in 2021. Of course, we're going to watch out for Shapovalov. His game is suited to grass. And if he can serve well, he can probably play well here. Also got to watch out for Sinner. Interested to see how his game transitions from the clay courts to the grass because when he broke out two years ago, we didn't see him much on the grass courts. And the same goes for Karatsev. I want to see Karatsev on grass. I think his game is very much suited to the grass courts with his power. So he could definitely get to the final of this event, potentially win it as well. So very interested to see how Karatsev does. There it is, the draw for Queen's Club Championships this year and some names that I'm very interested to see play. Some of the big hitters of the tour who played pretty well on the hard courts before the clay court season. Guys like Karatsev, obviously Sinner, who played well on the clay as well. Shapovalov, those guys I want to see. And of course, Andy Murray, who can forget him. But let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this event? Because it's pretty wide open and we've had some random champions in the past at this event. All right, having a look at the draw here and I'm going to go with Karatsev to win this one. He is the number five seed, but I think the conditions and also the grass courts suited to his game absolutely perfect. And if we get through guys like Sinner and Shapo, is a very good chance of winning this event. So I'm going to go with Karatsev to win this one. Let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this event? The grass court season continues with one of its events this week, the Queen's Club Championships.